we have a public meeting. It's not a core meeting, so uh, just go right ahead. Thank you. This is um, an opportunity to share the results of the Oxford Flexible School Day program for 2015-16, and then to look at the proposed program that we will then consider later in the board meeting for the 2016-17 school year. We did operate the program last year um, at Wagner and Judson High School. The target for the Oxford Flexible Day is for students who have dropped out, are deficient in their end of course assessments, or who are in danger of dropping out of high school. The program runs from 4.30 to 7.30, Monday through Thursday. It ran from September 2015 through June. This past June, the classes were offered throughout the year in an online format using the online um, system that we have in the district, Edgenuity, as well as in-person support for the students who were at the campuses. In looking at the program that was offered last year, at Judson High School, we had 110 students who participated in the evening high school. 22 of those received high school diplomas, and um, which was a 20% completion. And it shows the cost per evening high school graduate for Jetson High School. At Wagner, we had 48 students who participated in the evening high school program, with 24 or 50% of those students receiving a high school a diploma, becoming high school graduates and the costs associated with that. We look across the board for the total supplemental pay for the evening high school for the district was $43,686, the cost per participant, and then the cost per high school or evening high school graduate. One of the things that we are looking at for 2016-17 is to keep the program as it is in place Monday through Thursday for students who are meet the same criteria. We'd like to start on September the 2nd, I'm sorry, September 19th through June the 2nd. Again, offering the online course for the students through Edgenuity. It's an on-site, they come to the campus and have the in-person services with the teachers to provide the additional intervention. Running again at Wagner and Jetson High School. One of the things that we would like to do is change our data collection. Um, the program is funded through State Comp Ed um, funds. So submitting throughout the year, at the end of each semester, the number of students not only that become high school graduates, but also looking at this number of credits earned. That is something when we go back to the, to the data for the other 24 at Wagner and the other 90 at Judson High School, we don't know how many additional credits they earned towards high school graduation that they would not have had the opportunity to earn had that program not been in place for them. So that is now going to be a data collection resource that we can use to track not only graduates, but also the um, additional credits earned from those, from those students. And that would really be the only change to the program we have this year. Monday through Friday, they have a set schedule at each campus, one content on one day, some time with the, on the online system another day, the other content, reading math, science, social studies support, and then another day with the online system. The students can work on the lessons and go through the activities at home, but they have to come to the site on the weekends, but they come to the site for the, the testing and for the, for the, the program during Monday through, Friday, or Monday through Thursday. Questions?